Dan left quietly shutting the door. Walking was easy if you just expected the floor to heave and you didn't mind slamming into walls. Using handhold after handhold, he lurched down the passageway. <clears throat> they had only 36 hours before disaster struck. Dan figured that the first place he should nose around should be the places passengers weren't allowed. He hesitated by a door marked crew only, but he knew he couldn't get in without a magnetic card. He'd have to steal one. The crew would be in the common spaces, so he headed through the interior passage, following the signs to dining, saloon, and library and lounge, as well as a small restaurant called Café Parisien. It was modeled after the restaurant on the Titanic. Dan pressed his nose against the glass and tried to imagine women in gowns and men in white ties drinking champagne. Not knowing that the iceberg was waiting out in the North Atlantic, thinking they were safe on an unsinkable ship, just like all the people in their luxurious cab cabins on the Titanic too. Outside the portholes, he could see nothing but endless churning gray sea that met endless opaque gray sky. <clears throat> Not an iceberg to be seen. Are you looking for the lounge, young man? A crew member materialized out of a side passage. There's an excellent lecture beginning in five minutes. Uh, yes, Dan said. He studied the crewman. There was a cord around his neck, and the end disappeared into a pocket in his jacket. That's where the card was. The sip sh the ship suddenly rolled, and Dan was thrown up against the guard. He planted his hand on his chest and fumbled with an alligator clip. His fingers slid along the plastic. Oops, there you go. The crew member pushed him carefully to his feet. You'll get the hang of it. This way, sir. Dan had no choice but to follow. He had just missed lifting the card. The lounge was all mahogany and brass with inviting deep seats, gleaming wood tables, and flat screens hanging from the ceiling so that there wasn't a bad vantage point in the place. There was something that could be a Picasso hanging over the sofa. Maybe it was a Picasso. Basically, it all looked like a fancy hotel lobby, if you didn't notice that everything was bolted down. Only two people sat in the lounge, one of them wearing a Cubs t-shirt and the other hanging onto a table with both hands. Outside the picture windows, waves towered as the ship plunged its way through them. The steward in a white jacket approached. May I get you something from the buffet, sir? The boat plunged into a wave that seemed to suck it down to the center of the earth. Dan felt his stomach rise into his throat. He sat down quickly. The boat shuddered, then climbed the wave, seeming to balance on top for long seconds before plunging down again. The passenger who had been holding the table suddenly bolted toward the bathroom. Um, no thanks, Dan said. I think I'll just sit. The man in the Cubs t-shirt spoke. He jerked his chin toward the door. That was our lecturer, Dr. Gilman. Looks like it's just you and me. He looked like a genial guy in 
tortoise shell glasses, his silver hair cut short. The trick is to keep your eye on the horizon. Yeah, Dan said. If only it didn't keep disappearing. Ha, exactly. Well, too bad about Dr. Gilman. I was looking forward to the talk. Leopard seals are the most vicious predators in Antarctica. Can rip a penguin out of its bones. More fun than krill. That's my specialty. He stuck out his hand. Dr. Jeff Tagemeyer. Dan shook his hand. J.P. Jones. Here. What's a krill? The man's face lit up. Do you want to hear my lecture? Antarctica is the coldest place... Well, coldest, driest, windiest continent, Dan told the others when he returned. It's the only continent without an indigenous human population. That means no humans ever lived there. Plus, all the countries got together in 1950. 59 and made this treaty that there could be no military bases only scientific ones dr jeff told me that sci that scientists work on all kinds of cool stuff in antarctica not just penguins and seals and whales but global warming did you know that the retreat of ice in western antarctica means that the collapse of the entire ice sheet is unstoppable now. Icebergs are caving in, well, caving at an incredible rate. That means that major chunks are breaking off. Are you dressed and ready to go? Are you 